morning, boys and girls. My name is Officer Keo at San Antonio Police Department School Safety. Today we're going to talk about some bike safety, and I'm going to let you know everything you need to know for the, the bike. The important part of having a helmet is one that fits you properly. You don't want a helmet that's too big that when you're riding it flies forward in front of your eyes or falls backwards. You want to have your own helmet so that you know that it always fits you. You also want to make sure your helmet is buckled. It's very important. So many times we see children out there riding their bikes, skateboards, and scooters. They have a helmet on their head, but they don't have it fastened. I guarantee if you fall off of that bike, skateboard, or scooter, the helmet's going to fall off your head before you hit something hard. So always put it on and always buckle it. Now that we got your helmet on, we've got your bike together, we're going to go ahead and inspect your bike. We're looking for four very important safety equipment, pieces of safety equipment on your bike. The first thing we're looking for is a headlight. Now this, boys and girls, must be a light that you can turn on and turn off. That white reflector that's on the front of your bike, that's not a headlight. You need to have one that turns on and turns off. Second thing we're looking for is a horn or a bell. Now what we want from you is a noise making device. In case an emergency situation arises, you have some way to warn drivers or pedestrians that you're here. Officer Allen has her trusty whistle. It makes plenty of noise and will get anybody's attention. Third thing we're looking for is a chain guard. A chain guard is a piece of plastic or a piece of metal which covers the chain and it covers the sprocket. This is an important piece of safety equipment. It keeps your shoelaces and pant legs from getting caught up, maybe causing you to have an accident. The fourth thing we're looking for, boys and girls, is a red reflector on the back of your bike. It's got to be red. It's got to be on the back. Some of safe, you, now that we know that your bike is in safe working condition, let's start with the obstacle course test. That's two lines, three feet apart, 70 feet long. The object is to go as slow as possible between these two lines without putting your foot down. You want to last for 30 seconds. 30 seconds gets you the maximum amount of points, which is 40 points. However, every time your foot touches the ground or your tire touches the line, you lose 10 points. All I want you to know is go as slow as possible. If you feel like you have to put your foot down, speed up. You'll get a better score. Officer Allen will now demonstrate the balance test. Note that she is going as slow as she can. She's staying between these two lines and her feet will not come off the pedal. Uh, see, she gets a little wobbly there. Maybe it's time to speed up a little bit. Therefore, you're ensure that you will not hit the ground. The whole time she's going through the stop, through the obstacle course, I'm timing her. I'll start the time when the front tire enters the line and stop it when the back tire ends. Very good, Officer Allen. The second course. The second course is a steering test. Here we have two lines. Stop. Here we have two lines that are eight inches apart, 30 feet long. The object here is just to ride down the center of the line. Now, I know that sounds easy, but it's the hardest part of the whole bike rodeo. It's even hard for Officer Keo. What we're gonna let you do here is back up a few feet, get a running start, go as fast as you can. Once you get to the line, stop pedaling, coast down the line. Every time you're pedaling, your bike, you're ever so slightly moving your handlebars, which causes you to wiggle. So if she can go through and coast down it, it'd make her nice and safe. Officer Allen? Perfect, she did absolutely perfect. The third obstacle. The third obstacle is either a figure eight or a circle. It's typically two feet wide, and all you have to do is make a trip around the circle without putting your foot down and without your tires touching the line. Officer Allen would demonstrate this. Note that you don't want to go too fast. It is not a race course. Just a nice, comfortable pace that you can make it through without your tires touching the line or your foot touching the ground. Officer Allen. Excellent, again. Our final obstacle consists of a maneuver test. Here we have eight cones, six feet apart, 
All you get to do is zigzag in and out of the cones. If you hit a cone, skip a cone, or put your foot down, you lose some points. Go ahead, Officer Allen. And perfect. Now we've completed the obstacle course. questions you might have. The first question I always get at the bike rodeo is, can I bring my scooter to the bike rodeo? No, no scooters, no skateboards, no tricycles. However, training wheels are allowed. If you haven't learned to ride on two wheels, it's okay. Bring your bike with training wheels. We want everybody to come and have a good time. However, note, if you have training wheels, that gives you a huge advantage over the kids that do not. So we take away a few points at the inspection. However, bring your bike and have fun. Other questions I always get. Knee pads and elbow pads are optional. You do not have to wear them, but you can. The helmet, we think so much of the helmet that we get 10 bonus points for everybody who shows up with a helmet on their head. Other questions I might get, pegs. If your bike has pegs, that's okay. If you don't know what pegs are, your bike doesn't have it, don't worry about it. And I also get questions about the chain guard. Sometimes the chain guards are not elongated and covers the whole chain. It might just be a ring that goes around the sprocket. That's fine, you get points for that as well.